be strong. There we go. I love the music. Oh, I didn't want to tap it. <laughs> okay, where did we leave off? Were we... I think we were going somewhere? Oh well. I've got that weird feeling. Hmm? Oh, right. I'm actually rather hungry. Uh, berries? Hmm. Hmm. No, sorry, Stella. You know I can't eat for the life of me. Mm. I've tried, but I just can't. Okie dokie, I will whip something up real quick. What am I gonna cook? I'm gonna cook something. Let's see. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Oh, let me show you something super cute. You ready? No, not that one. I didn't want that. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not the cute thing. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get out of the kitchen first. One of my favorite things in this game is... You can hug your kitty daffodil. Yay, kitty. Daffodil, I love you. <laughs> It still has all. So we'll let that cook. And we never did go inside here. Let's go in. Super simple. There's the picture of me and Daffodil in the background. Pretty moon and some stars. And a pile of rocks and a couch. Oh, that's right. We were going to go somewhere and get some seeds. I think I'm starting to remember now. Yeah, man. What do I got here? Themed shellfish. Will you this? Oh, no. There we go. Is that shellfish? Oh, no. No, no, no. Not for me. Sorry. Oh, God. Uh, okay. She will not eat the same thing twice. So I've already made popcorn. So she won't eat popcorn again. She won't eat fruit. She won't eat the steamed shellfish. What's the girl to do? Um, I could try to fish, I suppose. I can remember how to fish. <clears throat> I caught a fish! Yay! Look how happy I looked! I caught an old shoe! Hooray! I still looked really happy and proud of myself for that. So let's see if I can cook that fish. And if she will accept that. Saving the ocean from some litter. Absolutely. <laughs> I think I needed to go. Where was I supposed to? I was already there. Oh, I think I needed to go here.
pistachio. Wee wee! Alright, so the island we're going to is going to be a place where we can buy some seed so that we can plant the seeds and then grow some stuff for us to start cooking <clears throat> even more. Grilled fish. Okay, Stella. Or not Stella. I'm Stella. You are not Stella. Come on. Thanks. I love it. And now, let's take a look at your... Okay. You need a hug. We have now made it to Hummingbird. Uh, I like how you can see the moon rising. <clears throat> That's really pretty, Fools. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. while we're here, let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. You bet your antlers I'm going to pay him a visit. I need some seeds! Little daffodil. Mm -hmm. I'm going home. Don't follow me. Please. Mm -hmm. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. Leave me alone, you telemarketer. <laughs> Aha! I know where you live. Sign you up for all of the catalogs now. <laughs> Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the Spiritfarer and the Everlight. Quick reminder, the little glowing ball that is on mine and on um, Daffodil's necks is the Everlight, if you didn't remember from the last stream. Mm -hmm. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. Mm -hmm. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use obols to activate it. But to get obols, you need to welcome more spirits onto your ship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. I have one, I just need another one. I could really use a double jump. Just saying. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from Mountain Gnome Race, there's a nifty synergy with the level three rogue ability. <laughs> Eviscerate. <laughs> It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? Sounds pretty good to me. Where you live? Be gone, stranger. <laughs> we are not friends. <laughs> You're starting to annoy me. <laughs> Be gone, stranger. Love it. <laughs> Hello. I am the spirit fairer. I am a pest. Good. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Theodore is adorable. Look at that face. <laughs> Little tongue. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing Hummingbird since forever. 
You've got the glims, I've got the goods. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. Okay. Bye. We want some seeds. Seed, seeds. Okay, I remember she said she likes coffee. These are expensive. Hmm. What was that? Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? I'm ready. <laughs> are you guys ready for this? <laughs> No, we're gonna do it, gonna do the thing. <clears throat> Good, let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Madam, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> My friend here is the new spirit fairer. <laughs> but she's not a newbie. And neither am I. <laughs> that little scam of yours won't work on us. <laughs> but I... Look at his face. He's like, hmm. I can assure you, my business practices are quite overboard. Above board? <laughs> overboard is for sure, but above board. Mm -hmm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses. Mm -hmm. Just fair prices. I... I... Mm -hmm. So stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Mm -hmm. Got it? But... Yes? Yes, of course. I promise you, I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some heck. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. Dun, 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 dun. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanely high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyways, see ya. Upstairs crew forever! <laughs> this game. I love this game. Okay. An excellent salesperson always carries what the customer needs. So, my well-off patron, what can I do for you for? Let's see. That's a lot more affordable. <laughs> so cute. I will sell you my boot if it will let me. It won't let me. No boot for you. Hmm. If you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. 
Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Another bicycle. Mm. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. Mm. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. Mm. Might stumble on the rarest of finds. Mm -mm. Oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Mm -hmm. Your name is Mary or Marguerite. It's Missy. Mm -hmm. Wait, no. Is she? Don't tell me it's. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot! I'll get it someday. A stroll a day keeps the doctor away. Which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no! Why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I am not sick. I am okay. Okie dokie. Favorite spot is this bench on the end of the pier. It's beautiful and quite peaceful. After a long day's work... Oh my! I shouldn't have told you if I want to keep it that way. We are not friends! <laughs> hey, I got some seeds! I got some free seeds! That's cool. stay up there. I tried. More seeds. More seeds for me. I took your seeds because they belong to me. It's the thing. All right. Let's go, go, go. Looks great. Mm -hmm. Now you can plant seeds in there. Give it a go. Okie dokie, cherry okie. Coffee beans. Coffee beans. Coffee beans. You can see the dirt actually changing color with the moisture. I think that's a really neat touch. Awesome! Mm -hmm. Your thumb is as green as your hat. Is my hat green? I thought it was blue. Is it green or blue? I really think it's blue. My shoes are green. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Mm -hmm. Don't ask my word for it though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the ocean. But you are the spirit fairer. 
and spirit fairs find spirits. Mm -hmm. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll like this one if he's who I think he is. Mm -hmm. Go. Let's sail. Okay, you didn't tell me where to go. I'm guessing it'll just highlight itself or something. Okie dokie. Bark and sheen. Bark and sheen? Bark and... I guess. Alright, we're gonna head there. Yeah, thank you for the heart. Kitty hug, not the bell. I said a kitty hug. Ah, whatever. Here we go. Kitty hug. Big hugs. <gasps> rainy, rainy. Getting really rainy. <gasps> I guess while it's rainy, and we're sailing, I will see if I can do some more fishing. We are almost to our destination. We are here. Bark and Sheen Creek discovered. Bark and Sheen or Bark and Sheen? I don't know. Anyway, we're going. Here we go. Adventure. And a drink of water. Okie dokie. Because I know we're going to need wood later on. I'm almost positive. Voyager is here! Hello, Voyager! How are you doing? How are you? Yes, a very efficient saw. <laughs> Great! You're here. Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. <laughs> Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands. I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. Unless... It's just down there. In the water. I'd do it myself, 
but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. <laughs> I found a lemon. That's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. <laughs> Maybe I can even help out aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Just, let's just go get your boat. And poof, he's gone. Off screen. Come on. Uh, uh, yeah. There we go. Come on, Daffodil. Come keep up with me. I'm sure you'll need someone who can make repairs on your boat at some point. Bella! Oh wow! This boat is amazing! Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal! Get ready for a family reunion! It's me, Stella. Your uncle, Atul. Surprised? Mm. Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. Guys, guys, it's my uncle. Can you see the family resemblance? <laughs> I can't wait to see the sights, the, s the sea with you. Mm. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now, I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Ooh. Onwards! Wait a second. Is Ooh. that a... Uh... I knew it! <laughs> Kidding me, so cute. Ooh. That's a Seamaster 2000. I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Ooh. Apparently, you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Ooh. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. Andy, uncle. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. See what we get. I got a squid. Great job, Sprout. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up. Which reminds me. I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. Ooh. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Ooh. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, Ooh. you might be curious and might have already tried 
But yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll take go. I'll take go and what? Yes, me too. <laughs> well, I'll take go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty surprised too, but... I don't know, maybe he just has an eye for that kind of thing. Great. Time for sleep. We're going to sleep. And I'm going to take a drink of water. Let me hug my kitty kitty. What a sweet little daffodil. And come on. Mm. There we go. Hugs for the kitty. Thank you. They'll wake everybody up. And now we are going back. Oh. Back here. Would you look at that? Mm -hmm. You've got two ovals. Remember that shrine in Hummingburg? I'd try and add them there. Mm -hmm. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Guess what? We're already on the way. Oh, look. My plants need water. I'm coming, let me water my plants real quick. Oh, this will be a fun mini game. Bella, quick, come here. This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. I mean, I kind of thought that went without saying. But I think you should try. <laughs> oh. You have the Everlight. It'll protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush towards those. Ah, I almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? Oh. If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you'll get a lightning in a bottle. Oh. Isn't that bananas? This world, Ooh. lightning in bottles are a pretty handy resource, so come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Ooh. Get ready for the thrill of your life. Okay, guys. Oh, thank goodness. 
Ooh. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it there for a second. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Hey, you're the one that told me to go out and try to catch lightning in a bottle. Yes, apparently there are storms in death and you can get hungry and all sorts of stuff. Did you feel that rumble? Ooh, what a rush! You look pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could ever hope for. Hee hee. Well, well. A snack would be great right about now. Okay. I gotta see... I think I can cook that squid. I didn't actually start it. That's cooking. And now... Oh, Voyager. Yeah, you missed it the other day. There's also um, jellyfish that fly in the air, too. I'll see about doing that one again. That one was fun. We go. Now I have the double jump. All whole. browsing for some fiber. Okie dokie. Oh, I guess while I'm here, let's go ahead and we'll see about buying some... We need a couple of things of linen. Get some more for the corn. And at least one turnip seed. So now I'm broke again. Yay. You made it! Wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. But you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. Oh, oh, oh. There's a sheep here. My sister keeps asking me for money. How can I say no without saying no? Maybe I should ask someone to rob me. Hmm. I just don't want to loan my sister money. Hmm. Yes, young person? And I assume you are busy? Of course you're busy. <laughs> Wait a second. You don't have a full service kitchen. <laughs> Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. Okay, okay. Oh, that's on the outside. Nineteen hundred percent, huh? <laughs> Upstairs crew forever. Did you? Are you the I don't want to loan Mr. Money person? Oh, that's locked too. From this side. Oh, I didn't mean to sit in the chair. Get up off the get moving. Thank you. We got things to go and places to go and people to see. Gave me such a fright. 
That cat. He looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean... Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at sea? You came to rescue me again. I see. Well, not so fast. This time, I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going, then. We have some lessons to go through. Oof. Vanished. Daffodil hates getting wet. Alright. We have another big reveal back at the boat. You're starting to annoy me. I know. Isn't it great? I got a necklace. Right, ready for the big reveal? Oh, this should be done by now. Oh, it's not letting me in. I guess I have to do this first. Over here, little one. Oh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. Oh, getting out of this chrysalis, what a feeling. Welcome back. Thank you, Stella. All right, my food is ready. Just a moment, mm -hmm. Uncle. I'll be with you in just a moment. Wood skewers. We're gonna cook some food. Now about the garden. Oh Stella, don't you feel don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it sure could use some greenery. There's my controller again. As an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It will be called Caring for Plants from A to Zelia. <laughs> hmm, yes. It doesn't ring as good once said out loud. Maybe I need to work on the saint on the name some more. Oh, ready for harvest. Linen, corn, coffee bean. Oh. Let's do one corn, one linen. For some reason it may run past there. And some coffee. Water. Water. And water. fish. Now I know that I can make something with coffee bean. Black coffee. Mm. 
you said you were hungry, so here is there's oh, I think you said you like coffee. Mm -hmm. Now this is one darn fine cup of coffee. I've had I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life. Mm -hmm. But this is certainly mm -hmm. my favorite one of them all. Thank you very, very much, Stella. And he is always hungry. He won't eat the shell. He won't eat the shellfish, so no. I know he will. Oh boy! I just love food. Keep them coming. Ooh. I can't get enough of it. And Ooh. looks like he gives great Ooh. hugs. Wasn't that great, favorite niece of mine? It's a raid. No. Thank you for the raid, Toothy. Aw, <laughs> you're sweet. All right, everybody should be happy now. I'm gonna <sighs> hug the kitty. I was to uh, jump back and gather. <laughs> Things off of the side of the boat. build anything new. We can build the garden. Let's build a garden. Right here. I wonder how she climbs, because she's a snake. So, how does she climb? Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. What a wonderful little garden. You really outdid yourself, Stella. Mm -hmm. Well then, that makes us just about ready to start on the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. I can do that. Right now, even. Carrots? And four carrots. And water. And water. And Duck, I think, because I called her out because a snake. Maybe if we sleep, it will. Okay, he got unstuck. first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you've probably noticed already. Oh, it's about to happen, guys. It's about to happen. I love this part. And my daughter loves this part, too. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living things. For you see, a garden is a vessel of our love. A mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island, when I was 
lonely, I sang to the flowers. And as I expected, they grew much more vigorously. Through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. The plants seem to react particularly, particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try playing that piece to your crops. I love the sound of this and I am terrible at it. But we'll see. Maybe I can get it right this time. I'll try to remember to post the better version of this into the Discord so you can enjoy it. It's a very beautiful piece. I know I missed one. that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. Oy. I don't have anything for you right now. Try again. Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspect. As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. It might help if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. This strange coin has been tickling me since I've arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. Mm -hmm. A new bubble! Bella, mm -hmm. you did good! Now we've got a real boat going. 
and you'll have to take care of these new passengers now. Mm -hmm. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have to ask... I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not I the ideal scenario for any of us. Mm -hmm. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude to blame you for anything. Mm -hmm. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious, but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read. A space in which I could read and unwind, far from the turmoil of the death. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, I'd see something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Alright, let's see what it's gonna. Oh. Oh. Geez, you gotta love the sights here. The sea, the sun, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship. With you, my niece. What is she doing? I wish your Aunt Viv could see you right now. Running your own ship. Helping out these stranded souls. It really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. I guess we're good now. Lodge. Oh, I can do it. Let's put it on top of the kitchen. I love it. Mm -hmm. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Bye, Voyager. Have a good night. Thank you for dropping by. Mm -hmm. Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. Proud. Mm -hmm. It took a look. I took a look at your. I took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose. But you know what would make it even greater? More plans, bigger buildings, better pencils. I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert at Albert's Shipyard could help you out. Ugh, if we do that, I'm gonna need some more money. Let's take a look at her new digs. There's nothing down here, and a pretty, pretty bread up here. Hey, I have to tell you something. Bella, I didn't want to disturb you with this, but... For the last several weeks, I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake, and of menacing reefs, and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm now convinced my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I've been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes kept being drawn to a specific mark specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Okie dokie. Alright, we're going to a place to do things. I think. There. Green Halton Bay. Oh, 
that lemon was made of plastic that he gave. <laughs> All right, Oval Plantasia Fantastica, Keeper Stella's Cabin, Old Shoe, Old Carpet, Vibrant Necklace, Corn, Coffee Bean, Thieves. Raspberry, turnip, carrot, squid, goldfish, limestone, bright jelly, lightning in a bottle, maple log, and empty bottle. Oh, right, I need to cook something. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow. Here's right now. Yep, looks like they do a little bit. Like they're fine. Ah. Let's see what we made this time. Hello. Follow me again. Grilled veggie. Okay. Here. I'm gonna give you food. And you're gonna like it. I've been thinking about father recently. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow. Mm -hmm. No hate. No relief. Nothing. Mm -hmm. It didn't really matter to me. But it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. I bought you three sisters and gave you that dang oversized sweater I had knitted a month prior. Mum mm -hmm. was appalled, but you felt better. I've long wondered why you were so sad. And the best I could come up with is that you were sad in my stead. Mm -hmm. Feeling things I couldn't feel for myself. Oh, Green Halton Bay discovered. Grilled veggies. Mm -hmm. Thanks, mm -hmm. I love it. Glad you do. All right, so go to the place that was marked on the map. Let's go check it out, cause I don't remember what it was. 